everyone it's Jamira aka Mimi if you are new welcome to my channel if you're returning welcome back so you guys I'm coming to you today with a three option pick a card on who's watching you okay let's see who's talking to you who's watching you who's creeping on you okay so you guys I will have a channel song for each pile please visit the description box below and choose a number of the pile or the channel song of the pile that is calling up to you the most okay I felt the urge to cough okay let me pause this I'm gonna cough a little bit I had to get that out, you guys. I'm sorry. So, yeah. I'm going to give you guys a few moments before I start. Um, let me silence my phone. Because I feel like it's about to be someone calling me. Okay? So, yeah, you guys. Let's get to it. Pile 1, who's watching you. The channel song that I got for you, Pile 1. And I'm going to do only the mini tarot, Okay? Um, Pile one, you got Bad Influence by Omale, okay? Um, so this could definitely be a person. I'm feeling like this is a person who, um, it's like two groups of you guys, okay? The first group of you guys, you have a person who wants to be a friend with you. It could definitely be an acquaintance, okay? Someone you guys talk to or run into, I would say, um, on a daily basis, or you guys run into this person often than you would like to, okay? Maybe you see this person outside your neighborhood, but um, it's definitely a person who wants to become a little more close to you, okay? I'm saying that this person, um, you guys could have met at work, the neighborhood, or a bar. Um, I'm saying that you guys could have exchanged uh, social medias or even numbers, but this person wants to... Uh, hang out with you more, know you a little bit more. They kind of find you intriguing, okay? Um, but if you guys met this person at the bar, um, this person feel like you guys are a bad influence in their life. I'm saying that if you did meet this person at the bar, they, they weren't really um, going to the bar um, because they wanted to be there. They probably were having a moment and probably uh, just went there, you know, spur of the moment. And they happen to meet you, but they find themselves, if you guys didn't exchange numbers or even uh, social media as this person, they uh, find themselves going back to the bar over and over just to run into you. And they found out that you didn't, uh, that you don't really come there that often either. So this person could feel like you are a bad influence. You're making them do things they wouldn't normally do. And I'm also saying that this person could have... Um, they could be stalking you on your social medias. Maybe you they saw your name um, on your, your tab or your card when you gave it to the bartender. I'm um, seeing this person definitely knows your name, your full name. Maybe this person, I'm seeing this person could be doing a background check on you. <laughs> okay. Um, but this person definitely feel like you're, you're uh, the lack of communication between you guys or the lack of, I would say, interaction with you is kind of driving them crazy. Okay. And the second half of you, this is definitely a person um, who you guys started off as being friends with, okay? I'm going to show you guys the cards in a little bit. Um, you started off being friends with, and maybe it went a little further. Maybe you guys, yes, maybe you guys ended up being uh, just friends with benefits, or you guys had a one-night stand if you guys were meeting up with each other through the neighborhood or something like that. And I'm seeing that someone caught feelings I, I feel like maybe this person caught feelings i don't feel like you guys are heavily invested in this person but i feel like this person is basically chasing you okay it's something about wanting to get to know you a little deeper a little bit better if you guys did talk or you guys are acquainted with this person associated with this person um it is it's not how they would like it to be okay it, it's really superficial you guys all know superficial things about each other not really want a deep uh I would say soulful level or a really uh, intimate level, okay? Yeah, something else, something flipped over, you guys. Hold on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow, I'm going to show you guys the cards, okay? Yeah, this is definitely someone that you guys are not that close to, but they feel like you guys are a bad influence in their life. If you guys um, was talking to this person or you guys ended up being friends with benefits or got entangled or enmeshed in this person's life, I'm seeing that this person, you kind of distracted this person, okay? Uh, distracted this person from, yeah, and it's also because I'm not getting too many cards. I feel like I'm, I'm trying to force the cards to come out. Um, 
It's something about you guys' communication that isn't right, whether this person doesn't know how to express themselves or you guys are like much more emotionally and intellectually advanced as this person, you know how to express yourself and communicate. You guys are expecting this person to call you. I'm saying this person could have issues with um, with uh, social anxiety or being judged, okay? So they kind of hold themselves back. And for others of you guys, this person feels like yeah, they just feel like you're not on their level. Like you guys are higher than you. They kind of put you on a pedestal. Yeah, so they're kind of watching you heavily. Um, they want to build a deeper connection with you, but they don't know how you guys are going to take it. They, they're like, oh, what if this person rejects me? And what if this person doesn't really like me? It's not coming out, you guys. But I'm, I'm going to get these two last two cards. Yeah, all the cards are in reverse. This is, yeah. Okay, so the first card that came out was the Knight of Cups. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. The Two of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, the Ten of Cups in Reverse. The Will of Fortune. Mm. And the Emperor in Reverse, okay? All these cards are in Reverse. I'm feeling like with this Emperor in Reverse, yeah, this person is definitely not... Uh, as assertive as, as you would like them to be. If you guys just had a one night stand with this person, or if you guys. <laughs> okay. So my dry wanted to uh, make some noise. I should go stop it. So this Emperor in Reverse, this person is not as assertive as they, they could be. If you guys had a one night stand with this person, or you guys have friends with benefits with this person, um, you never had, you guys never had a, 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 I would say a talk about where this connection was going or if this person, just you and them had a really nice conversation or a connection in the bar. Uh, they never took the initiative to ask for your number. So you guys are walking around thinking this person isn't really into you, but this person is, they just don't have what it takes. Like I said, I feel like this person struggled with some sort of anxiety of being judged. So they don't really go for what they want. Or don't really say what they really want to say. Um, like I said, out of fear of rejection, this person could feel like they don't, they don't have enough, okay? Or where they are in life is not where they should be. Um, if you guys were dating or, like I said, investing with each other, entangled with each other, the time that you guys spent with them was basically... Um, I think this is going to stop. I... I'm going to let it go, though. I apologize for that problem, okay? So, um, yeah, with this Will of Fortune in reverse, this person feel like they probably don't have enough to offer you. They know this because they feel like, um, why would you want to accept a person like them, okay? This person definitely thinks really lowly of themselves. They could struggle with self-esteem issues, okay? Uh, this could be a water sign. I'm seeing Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but I'm seeing uh, Cancer, Okay? The dark side of cancer. It could also be a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag, particularly Aries. So they can have a north node in Aries. But this person is definitely not in their north node. But anyway, about this person, this person, maybe they look at you as being, like I said, above them. Um, but something about this person not feeling like they can give you what you are looking for. If you guys want a relationship, um, or you wanted a relationship, or you guys wanted something a little more serious, this person, the only reason why they, they weren't as, um, <laughs> please let that be the last one. So if this person is a little, I would say uninspired, or they're not really motivated to come towards you, they feel like they need to uh, back away from you because they can't give you what you want and you probably deserve way more. Um, once this person really got to know you, even though this person does want to be a little closer or become a little closer or a little deeper, they know that at the end of the day, what they want, uh, they know they cannot basically, they, they can't, uh, they don't deserve wanting that from you because they can't give you what you guys want. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is in reverse. They can't give you what you want. So if you guys are wondering why this person isn't being as assertive, you know, asking for your number or trying to take things a little further than what it is between you guys, um, or why they are kind of hesitant in, in, in becoming friends, even though they want to be friends with you, 
um they know that they can't because it would definitely be unfair okay yeah yeah you guys they feel like they can't really offer you the emotional uh stability and love you guys want this this is really uh this is really a simple read okay i'm definitely going to keep it here i do want to keep these short and i apologize power one for the distractions yeah but i'm feeling like this 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 whole interaction with this person was definitely unexpected i don't think you guys were looking for each other when you found each other but i'm feeling like this is definitely uh one of those situationships where you guys felt like you could avoid it okay i feel like if this person does have feelings for you they haven't expressed this they'll, they'll ever uh love you or i would even say watch you and like you from a distance okay yeah they know they can't give you what you want what you need and they also feel like they could be a bad influence in your life okay i'm seeing that because this person maybe you guys met at the bar like i said find themselves going out more um going out more and also looking for you in other places and places they feel like you could be or looking for you at the bar okay maybe this person uh when they met you when you guys connected they were trying to distract themselves okay i don't think this person is as put together as uh they came off in the beginning okay with this emperor in reverse and this uh Knight of Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person came off of being really caring, open, open, and and just uh, charismatic. Okay, but they kind of died died it down a little bit. You guys aren't really uh, connecting like this person wants to connect with you, but it's definitely for a reason. I feel like both of you guys energetically are in some way agreeing that. Uh, this connection was, was kind of a bad influence, okay? You guys just want different things, and it's okay, all right? And yeah, you guys definitely want different things. It could be a fire sign with water placements or a water sign with, with uh, fire placements, okay? But I'm definitely seeing, um, yeah. This person could have felt really uh bad, okay? Really bad that they were kind of distracting you. If you guys... um. First connected with this person, you guys were like, uh, I would say really focused on yourself. This person felt like they kind of selfishly took away from you or probably hogged your attention away from what was really important in your life. Yeah. And maybe you guys were just doing things, getting into things with this person that you wouldn't normally do. Maybe drinking more than you usually should. Just listen to that song, okay? Maybe drinking more than you should. Um, like I said, basically giving your energy to this person. So some of you guys could have walked away from this person or or, or uh, didn't allow this person to take it to the next level because you guys just knew that they couldn't give you what you... It's like uh, two groups of you guys. Some of you guys knew this person couldn't give you what you wanted and this person knows they can't give you what you want. So they stalk you and watch you. Okay? Yeah. For some of you guys, you could have you could have ghosted this person, okay? So they're watching you basically to try to see if they can in some way uh, reconnect with you. Yeah, this is definitely a situation ship like friendship and lover type of vibe. Yeah, this is definitely a messy ass situation you guys don't need to be in, okay? So yeah, power one, if this resonated, like it, hit the like button, okay? And you guys share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell to get a when I upload videos like this every Monday, pick a cards, plus random inspirational or motivational uh, encouragement messages and videos, okay, throughout the week. They're really random. I don't know which day, uh, whatever my soul is guiding me to do for that day, for that time, I will release those messages, okay? So thank you so much, power one, for watching. And um, I will see you guys next time, okay? Bye. Pile two. Hey, pile two. So who's watching you? Who's stalking you, okay? So pile two, the channel song that I got for you was Risky by David Doe, okay? So this person, Paul Two, is definitely a person that you guys, uh, I don't think you guys know. I feel like this is definitely a secret admirer, okay? This is a person who is admiring you. 
Okay, I feel like this person could be an air sign or uh, with fire placements or could be a fire sign. Okay, with air placements. Okay, this person could be a person who uh, can talk a really great game. So I'm seeing a lot of Gemini placements. <laughs> Look, you guys. Look, the devil flipped right out. Um, so it could also be a Capricorn. Okay, I'm saying this person is really great with uh, finessing. Okay, it's something about the word, the way this person words. Uh, their words, okay, the way they uh, speak, they can definitely finesse you out them draws, okay. But this is definitely a person who they kind of got a thing for you. They kind of admiring you. They kind of like you, okay, yeah. They kind of like you. This person can definitely be a Casanova. I'm hearing this person say, uh, yeah, I'm getting money. Really listen to that song, okay, risky. Um, they feel like they can get anyone they want, okay. This person could definitely be in the spot, like they can definitely be a fire sign. I'm saying this person is really good looking, okay? Um, really beautiful, really pretty, really handsome. But this person, they can definitely give people what they want, anyone they want. I'm saying this person has a lot of options, okay? So if you, in some way, are the plain Jane, plain Joe type of person, you guys are really like a lot of attention, or if you guys do get attention, it's not as much, it's not as grand. This person is definitely a show off. This person... Uh, has that charisma, okay, that personality uh, that everyone gravitates towards, okay, so it could definitely be the life of the party, okay, I'm saying this person could be the really loud one, um, but one thing about this person, um, they're they're really possessive, okay, it's, they, they have those toxic ass traits about them, yeah, they got toxic traits about them, but I don't know what it is about them. They're the only person who can get away with it. So this person can come off as being really uh, chauvinistic uh, or uh, really self-absorbed, okay? But I just really feel like this person is just really confident, okay? Um, this person could have struggled. I'm going to show you guys the cards. Let me get to um, this is the last one. I got six cards, okay? I'm going to take all the cards as is. Yeah, I'm going to take all the cards as is. This person feel like if they get in some way entangled or enmeshed with you if they uh, approach you that it, it it may not end well so this person even when they get a lot of attention they get a lot of uh, people vying for their attention this person comes off of being really uh, confident they still have a little bit of insecurities with rejection okay or they feel like um they want you they like you but it's something about you they feel like it will be risky maybe you guys are like i said plain james uh plain joes you guys aren't their usual type but for some reason you guys are grabbing their attention and you guys are like turning them on so there's definitely gonna be someone you guys met um through social media or you guys met traveling okay but i'm saying this person sees you a lot maybe this person sees you maybe you guys go to the same coffee shop or um you just see this person on your way to work this person sees you it's somewhere around uh a lot of people where a lot of people are are seeing you guys okay yeah, in public. I'm definitely seeing that. Okay, so you guys got the double card. Okay, you got the magician. <laughs> That's suave. What I tell you guys, that Casanova, the four of cups in reverse. Okay, mm. the nine of wands. <laughs> okay, okay, the queen of wands. And the tower in reverse, okay? So this person, like I said, it's something about the way this person is, their personality. They're really charismatic, really like, oh, like in your face. And I'm feeling like you guys aren't really like that. They're like the opposite of you guys. So if this person approaches you, because I'm saying this person might approach you, okay? If they approach you, they may come off as being like really a uh, macho, okay? If they're a mask, but even if they're not a mask and they're a feminine, they're really like, you know, mm -mm -mm -mm, you know, really sassy. And you guys are like, you know, I'm not really used to that type of energy. So you guys might not respond to them how people usually respond to them, okay? Because I feel like I said something about the way they talk, the way they speak, okay? They may be, um, they may try to buy you guys lunch or offer you guys or just purchase something for you guys, buy something, to try to flaunt their money. Um, you guys aren't used to people coming at you like that or handling you like that. Cause like I said, this person, they're used to getting a certain type of attention or they're used to uh, getting a certain type of reaction. They feel like if they do it with you and you reject them. They're like, it's going to hurt their ego. Okay. Like they're like, who the fuck this person is they are? 
um, well, look at them, look at me, you know, and if a person is, is behaving like that, and you guys reject them, and they can't take the rejection, um, you rejecting them kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is why I rejected your ass, okay? So you guys might come off as being released to yourself, um, super defensive, closed off. This person might even make you guys are a little defensive. You guys might have a smart mouth, but it's something about you guys' personality that is catching this person's eye, okay? They're really digging you. They're really feeling you, but I'm feeling like, you guys could be the person that will probably chew someone's head off, okay? I'm really feeling like you guys got that rest of bitch face, okay? So you guys, like I said, it's, you, you might not be as flashy as this person, not your usual type, but I'm feeling like you guys have the same type of energy, but you guys are just more, I would say, humble with it, okay? You guys are way more humble with it than they are. And they feel like it's, it's a big possibility that even though they intimidate other people and they're the person that everyone chases, um, when it comes to you, they're like the whole a whole different person. You guys might definitely invoke some sort of um, insecurities within them. Okay, you guys definitely invoke their insecurities. They might even come off as, as you. You guys might even come off as being to yourself. You know, uh, sitting in the corner, doing your own little thing. Okay, super defensive. Okay. To yourself and also this person may see you on if you guys are online you work online they may see your spunky personality okay with the nine of wands and the queen of wands they definitely see your spunky personality and they that yeah they feel like that's going to be a problem for some of you guys you feel like this person is is, is going to come in and, and basically distract you or maybe say something or do something to you that's, that's going to in some way offend you so I'm saying that this person is watching because they, they're trying to study you, trying to figure out how they're going to come at you if they do. They don't know if they should buy you something, you know, show off their money. Um, but I feel like this person, when they do come off at you, when they do come off to you or come at you in a certain way, um, it's going to be something or it's going to be in a way you guys don't really, they aren't really fond of. You guys aren't really going to like it, okay? Their approach. So they're really trying to, uh, they're really contemplating how they should, they should come, uh, you know, come at you. And this person also might may wear a mask, okay? I'm seeing that the devil has a mask on his face. Uh, they might pretend to be a certain way to try to uh, basically lure you in. <coughs> Almost like a trap, you guys. I'm so sorry for coughing in you guys' ear. And they might even cough, okay? You guys might get them choked up, okay? They don't really know what to say. I'm saying that with, with other people, they can be themselves, but with you, they, they get kind of choked up, okay? They look at you as being really handsome, really beautiful, really attractive also, just as attractive as them. And that, that, that is what kind of uh, intimidates them about you when it comes to you, okay? So this person might um, might not show their real selves, okay? They might come off, you guys might look at them as being fake, <laughs> Okay? So they might change their appearance to make you feel a little comfortable or to ensure that you guys don't reject them. Or they might even, uh, when it comes to, they might ask you out on a date for dinner or for, or for breakfast or brunch. I'm hearing brunch in particular. Um, they might try to, there might they might be studying you right now so they can to try to figure out without you having to tell them what you guys like. So if they do ask you guys out, they're going to tell you, they, they're, they're going to pick the place, of course. But when you guys go out to eat or something like that, they're gonna they're gonna try to take charge or take the lead or probably order your food for you. You guys are like, that's not what I asked for. <laughs> okay, that's not what I asked for. I don't want that. I don't know. It's, it's something about you guys. This person is afraid of. Okay, they're not coming to. Uh, they're not coming to to, to try to shit on you or disrupt your life or, you know, just get up in your energy just, just to waste your time. But they definitely want to get to know you because they find you interesting, okay? You definitely mm -hmm. pique their interest. They feel like you guys in some way are a match. Yeah, with the tower in reverse and the four of cups in reverse. Yeah, they're not trying to disrupt your life or waste your time in any way or hurt you. And they feel like maybe you guys are really aggressive and, you know, in your face and just defensive like this because you guys have been hurt before. So if you guys have been hurt, maybe you guys talk about your experiences online. They see this and they're studying your, your work or they're studying you to try to figure out how they're going to come at you, okay? Or how they're going to interact with you. 
they're, they're, they're definitely being cautious, okay? They definitely don't want to offend you in some way, but they feel like whatever they're going to do uh, is going to be risky regardless because you guys might reject them. Or if you guys don't reject them, um, other people might judge them. Okay, I'm feeling like you guys come from two different worlds. Maybe different um, races, okay? Different backgrounds, cultural backgrounds. Yeah, they feel like you guys are different but similar, okay? They're like, I, I don't know how to behave. I don't know how to act, but... Yeah, I'm saying this person might buy you something to try to impress you. But I don't think you guys are going to really take it. You guys are going to take it um, in a negative way. I think I think it will, it will definitely be uh, received by you guys. Yeah, and, and better than they expect, okay? So this person is definitely in their head. They're like, yeah, they're in their head trying to figure out what they're going to do. I don't know why. I, I, I feel I need to uh, pull some more, okay? Yeah. They definitely feel like uh, they're less than. This, it, could, it could be less, okay? This person is definitely less than after you. Uh, for some of you guys, yeah, they're, they're less than after you, okay? Yeah. They're thinking about having a reverse. They're thinking about coming out or finally expressing to you. Yeah. Hangman. Yeah. Hangman in the uh, hermit. Yeah. It's like when they come out and, and tell you or they finally come out and speak to you, they might stall. <laughs> okay, they might stall and for some reason uh, struggle with the right words to say. They don't know if you guys are going to accept them, okay, or if society is going to accept uh, you guys. I don't know why. This person may be a person who is concerned about what other people think of them. Like I said, this is a person who in some way, I mean, I see the star in reverse. It would definitely be... Uh, uh, air signs too. I did say air signs. If this person is the type of person who gets attention from other people, um, they do in some way care about their reputation, but they're not the person who chase. But when it comes to you, they don't mind uh, chasing you, okay? They don't mind doing that toxic shit for you, okay? With the devil. They don't mind chasing you or looking like a fool to try to get you or to try to impress you, okay? So I'll say just, yeah, this person asked you out on brunch. Maybe they might drive their good car, put on their good clothes and shoes to try to impress you. But I don't think you guys are going to be interested. Okay. And the moon. Yeah, this person is definitely going to come off not being themselves. Yeah. I feel like this person secretly has a lot of uh, feelings for you or lust for you. But they don't know how you're going to take it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna leave it here. I mean, I, I, yeah, this person will come to you in their in their own time, and maybe like three, two weeks, two or three weeks, okay. But when they do, um, keep your eyes open on how they are talking to you, how they treat you. Yeah, they don't want to seem like or feel like a fool. And for others of you, yeah, they, they might definitely get you guys to go out drinking or to go to a party with them. I'm seeing that. Yeah, you guys might look at them drinking or partying as being too uh, toxic. Well, they feel like you guys might judge them based on uh, their lifestyle, okay? If they are a flashy person, they like to party, go out. They get a lot of people vying for their attention. You guys might judge them and might kind of turn them down. But um, even if this person is not what you guys are used to, they might seem a little too flamboyant or flashy for you. I would say, yeah, you use your judgment and definitely give this person... I would say definitely give this person a chance, okay? Because everyone who is like this isn't always out to get you. So if you guys have been hurt before when it comes to a person or or just people in general, um, this isn't the person who is gonna, gonna purposely do that or waste your time, okay? This person hates rejection. They hate wasting their time. They love the lighter side, uh, the fun side of life, okay? The fun experiences and really getting to know a person. So um, if you guys feel like this is just too much for you, let this person know. Let them down gently, okay? Don't be all rude and nasty, like, yo, fuck you, you party too much for me. Don't be like that, okay? But if you guys like, uh, you know, digging this person, how they approach you, you guys, if they end up impressing you, then, yeah, give this person a chance, okay? 
So that is who is watching you, Paul, too. Yeah, they, they feel like you guys are uh, risky, okay? <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for being with me, for watching. If you guys feel like it didn't resonate, choose another pile. If you did love it and like it, uh, hit the like button, okay? Like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell when you guys subscribe to get notified when I upload videos like this. Pick a cards every Monday, plus encouragement videos every, I would say, throughout the week, okay? Random videos, okay? So thank you guys, and I will see you next time. Hey, Pile 3. So, Pile 3, who's watching you? Who's stalking you? Okay. So, Pile 3, um, the channel song that I got for you is Can't Believe by Cranium. Okay. So, for you, Pile 3, the person who is stalking you, watching you is definitely, a, I would say, a friend or a person you guys used to date. I feel like if this is a person you guys used to date, um, you have, you, you ghosted this person. Okay. You guys have ghosted this person. Um, I would say not because they were a bad person, it's because you guys just, you guys' energy could, did, I don't know, it's like you guys' energy did not match. Like you guys couldn't get with this person's energy. I feel like this person, you you, you guys were definitely, uh, this person could have been a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, I'm seeing Aries and Leo. I'm seeing that this person just, their energy, they're more fast paced, fast lane, like flip, flip, always out and about. You guys are more on the calm side, okay? Um, more like the gentle side. And for others of you, this is a friend. This is a close friend you guys just didn't really mesh well with. You guys may have called this person your friend, but you uh, you guys kind of saw this relationship as being a one-sided relationship. I'm going to show you guys the cards. Look at you. Look, the strength card, okay? And you guys also got the page of swords. But this is a person that you guys felt like did not communicate how you would love them to communicate. I feel like this person just, what you guys wanted was different things. Okay. Yeah. Seven of cups. You guys definitely wanted different things. Um, but for some reason you felt like you couldn't connect with this person because they, uh, weren't emotionally available or they weren't emotionally, or I would say mentally mature enough to communicate what they truly wanted or what they expected out of you guys connection or dynamic. If this is a friend, um, they will always call you guys up, okay, whenever they had uh, issues or problems. When you guys had issues and problems, they were never around or they could never uh, be that listening ear, you feel me? So you guys have definitely disconnected from this, this person or these people. I'm saying this is like, it could be a group of friends, okay? So if you guys disconnect from a group of friends, I'm feeling like this group of friends, um, they can't believe you guys blocked them. I'm saying that they might go on social media or call you guys up and you're like, fuck them, ignore them, okay? But it's definitely taking a lot within you guys to ignore these people or to ignore this person. Yeah, this is definitely someone who you guys are absolutely, uh, you guys are opposites, okay? You guys are definitely opposites, yeah. Okay? <clears throat> For others of you guys, uh, this person, if you guys did split from this person, if it was someone you guys, yeah, if you guys did split from this person, disconnected from this person, something flipped over. If you were dating them, I'm seeing that this person could have had different options and they were lying to you. They didn't want to tell you. Um, yeah, they definitely didn't want to tell you. I feel like this person just didn't want to be tied down. They were kind of giving you mixed signals. So if you guys, uh, if this person ends up ghosting you or you ghosted, they're definitely watching you because they can't believe that you guys replaced them that fast. Or if this is you guys, definitely switch roles, okay? Someone can't believe the other person basically left and ghosted, okay? Like uh, you guys' connection never happened or, you know, it definitely took everything in this person it's, it's taking everything in this person not to communicate with you guys, but I'm saying this person could be stalking you, okay? Page of Swords, Strength card. They're definitely holding themselves back from speaking to you. If you guys had an argument with this person or a disagreement about what you guys wanted in this relationship, you guys got the uh, Seven of Cups. I feel like if you guys ask this person what do they want <clears throat> or you guys ask for a commitment, this person couldn't give you a commitment, okay? You guys got the King of Cups. This person couldn't give you a commitment or uh, they weren't emotionally available is because um, they definitely had different options, but they were too afraid to tell you, okay? So uh, 
if you guys end up ghosting this person or disconnected with this person, it was definitely the right thing for you guys to do. Or this person feeling like it's the right thing for them to do if they couldn't give you uh, the connection you guys were asking for because they, they, they wanted to stay, uh, you know, they wanted to stay, they didn't want to be committed, okay? They didn't want to stay tied, they didn't want to be tied down. They definitely like a variety. I'm seeing this person was definitely a little immature and discussing or being honest about what they truly wanted from you. And yeah, so if they were giving you mixed signals and, and this person just disappear or um, you guys just stop talking, it's, it's definitely because of them not knowing what they wanted, okay? Yeah. And this is the justice in reverse. Yeah, this person could have definitely just out of nowhere uh, ghosted you guys and weren't uh, honest about why they did it. Or if you guys ended up ghosting them because they weren't available emotionally, um, yeah, this person, it, it was definitely wrong the way they went about it. They could have told you, okay? They definitely could have communicated it better. I feel like you guys would have been a little more accepting of this person if they had told you exactly what they wanted. Some of you guys are in disbelief that this person really uh, felt this way or they really, this was the real reason why... Uh, they couldn't commit. Some of you guys, if, if you see this person on social media, they might post a pic of them and another person. So this person recently ghosted you. Um, they're definitely probably with another person. They were just too afraid to tell you guys, okay? <laughs> and for others of you guys, um, if you ghosted this person and you post a picture, they're definitely stalking your social media and it's taking everything in them not to say anything, okay? They might even go through your social media and, and maybe comment to people under your posts, okay? If you guys got different people uh, commenting on your posts and stuff like that. They might come under a fake profile and say some, some, some slick shit, okay? Or they might even tell your person, like, hey, um, you guys were together for a year, but they just ghosted me last week. We've been together for like two months. And yeah, this person definitely might be, um, yeah, about to tell your person. Oh my gosh, if you guys are married or in a long-term relationship and this person was like a side bull, okay, this person was like a sneaky link, uh, yeah, they're definitely contemplating on telling your person to break up your uh, relationship, okay? They feel like it's going to be justified because you broke their heart, okay? But you guys are like, no, it's not going to be justified. Why the fuck would you do that? I rejected you. I told you I didn't want, I didn't want to have you because I, you know, I didn't want your ass, so I didn't want to be tied down. So yeah, this person, if they do tell your person about what you guys have been doing, it's because they're hurt, okay? And I'm also saying they're going to get their karma for that, okay? Because it's, it's, it's not justified. And if this person was a person who ghosted you, I'm definitely seeing that they could have uh, they could have spoken to you a little bit better. They could have communicated better what they wanted, but they chose not to. They feel like, you know... Um, them ghosting you was definitely justified, but I don't think that it is, okay? So if you guys are feeling kind of hurt or bad that a person just uh, outright just ghosted you guys, after you guys felt like it was going to be something special, it's because this person, they didn't want to commit, they didn't want to say time down to one person like a variety, so this person could have been a Leo, okay? The fire signs, you guys just, just didn't match, okay? Yeah, you guys were too good for this person anyway, yeah. Yeah, maybe you, you you guys they they wanted they felt like you tried to rush them, okay. And I'm feeling like it could have something to do with this person's finances too. If this person wasn't making enough money or 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 they they weren't they aren't in a place a good place uh, materialistic wise or financially they don't feel like they're stable. Um, this person yeah that's probably why they didn't want to. Uh, they didn't want to stay tied down or they didn't want to commit. Yeah, so this person goes to you. They, they, they feel like it's, they're, they're probably doing you a favor. So they feel like they couldn't really indulge in uh, a full-blown connection with the person. They didn't have what it takes. Or they didn't. They, they, they just don't have uh, the resources to take care of another person. Okay, so you guys better believe me. If you guys get rejected, it's definitely God's protection, okay? I know some of you guys don't want to hear that. You're like, I'm heartbroken. I don't want to hear that shit. But it's definitely the truth, okay? And if this is a friend, um, you guys ghosted a friend. I'm saying that this friend could be 
uh, stalking you guys on social media. They're, they're doing everything in their power to not say anything. Because I'm feeling like this person wants to say something to you or, or maybe even start something between you guys' uh, relationship. If you guys are in a relationship, they want to do something to kind of get back at you, okay? Wants to get back. So this is definitely a person who can't believe you guys ghosted them or they just can't believe um, how you guys are treating them. Listen to that song, Can't Believe by Cranium. Okay. Yeah. This friend thinks for some reason you guys think you're too good for them. If this is a homeboy or homegirl, okay? They felt like uh, how you ghosted them was definitely unjustified. If you guys didn't have to do that, you could have just spoke to them, but they feel like you guys are really immature about the way you guys did it, about the way you guys uh, left their life, okay? Yeah. And for others of you, you're, you're like, you know, if this is a friend, you're like, no, I, I definitely had to, to ghost your ass because you weren't on my level. King of King of Cups, okay. This person just you guys just could never see eye to eye. I don't think this person was. I don't think you guys were on each other's level. Someone was emotionally and, and mentally a little more immature than the other person. If you guys had conversations, uh, you you guys never had enough time to sit down and actually have a conversation about real life things. So if one person may have had expectations for something else and the other person had expectations for something else. You guys, energy just did not match. And sometimes when you try to build relationships, connections and bonds and, and friendships on uh, faulty faulty uh, emotions, okay, it's not going to work right. Both parties or all parties involved have to be stable enough, okay, to really tackle real relationship things, you know. Uh, real life things and not just assume the other person yeah six of cups in reverse you guys just couldn't connect how you felt like you you wanted to okay how both of you guys felt like you should have connected yeah so this person is watching you if this person goes at you they're watching you to see if it's affecting you guys to see if you're affected by it like they want you to cry i feel like this is definitely a malicious thing Others of you, they're they're watching to see if uh, they want to make sure you guys aren't as devastated. They want you to understand. So if you guys get a message from this person or a random message or call, it's probably that person. Okay, they probably call you from a block number. Or if you guys get a random message on social media, uh, they might even tell you or pour their heart out to you and tell you why they left um, and why they had to leave, hoping that you guys will understand. And, and not be mad at them. They they hope that you guys probably still can be friends, okay? And if this person, you guys block this person as friend, um, yeah, they're, they're definitely want some get back. They're trying to figure out and understand why you guys uh couldn't connect. But sometimes you guys, when you just don't connect with people, you just don't connect with their energy. You just don't connect, okay? You guys cannot force things like that, okay? So yeah, power three, that is who is watching you, that is who is stalking you, all right? And if you guys got ghosted um, for, uh, you know, this reason in particular, the person just uh, didn't want to commit to one person or they had a lot of obligations because it doesn't always have to be uh, other people, okay? They probably didn't want to commit because they had too much going on, too much on their plate. And they knew that if they were to commit to you, it would definitely be unfair, or unjustified, okay? They would definitely be taking more than they can give. And they looked at you as probably being a good person, okay? And it's probably hurting them and killing them, okay? They definitely have a lot of strength uh, not to communicate with you guys, okay? I'm saying that this person definitely could be holding themselves back and communicating with you because they don't want to uh, cause more damage. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yep. They felt like they had to do this or they were going to keep breaking your heart or even break their own heart, okay? And they felt like they didn't want to be rushed because if you guys would have stayed in a relationship or a connection with a person who couldn't give to you as much as you wanted them to give to you, you guys probably would have been resentful, okay? Yeah. 
So uh, take this as a lesson and just thank God for the experience. Just thank God for um, like really showing you this before you guys got a little too much, uh, I would say, involved or invested with this person, okay? This was definitely a lifesaver, okay? So this event, this, this ghosting, this person doing this, it, it definitely did you a favor. Yeah, if people know they aren't for you, they should definitely remove themselves out of your life. And you guys shouldn't chase them or should uh, fuss about it, okay? And if this is a friend... Um, and they're they contemplating on, on trying to get back at you or do something to you. If you guys felt like whatever you did was justified or you felt like you had to do it, you guys weren't connecting emotionally, it's okay to have goals them, especially if you guys had uh, had a discussion or try to have a conversation or a discussion about what they weren't doing, okay? It's something about uh, talking about expectations, what was expected from you guys' connection. So if this is this is definitely could be a lesson for you guys if you uh, are going through this. And your next relationship, your next friendship, okay, your next connection with whomever, even partnerships as far as business, always state in the beginning your expectations, okay, and what you expect from uh, the connection and from the person, okay, and what you are willing to give. Definitely have that conversation with, with that person because I'm feeling like, yeah, the five of swords in reverse, yeah, um, because it, it can definitely, I would say, uh, it can definitely fix a lot of issues or solve a lot of issues between you guys or or uh, help you guys avoid certain issues if everything is stated up front, okay, in the open, the first time you guys interact with each other. Please remember that. Always state your needs and your wants and what you guys are willing to give, okay, um, in certain connections when you first go for it so no one can be confused, okay? Because if you guys are dating someone, you guys figure out the person is going to give you what you want or need, um, it shouldn't be any issue walking away from that person, okay? Don't get stuck in that situation because it feels good or you guys feel like you have a deep soul connection with this person. If they're not giving to you, I'm sorry, that connection sometimes, that soul connection, that love is just not enough, okay? Yeah. I'm having my mom hearing love is not enough. I'm, it's, it's a decal, a decal on a gold uh, song, okay? I'm going to put it down when he said love is not enough. Okay, in the beginning of the song, I forgot which song. I think it's called "Win." I think it's called "Win." Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely drop that that song below. Okay, so check out those two songs. Okay, "Can't Believe" by Cranium and "I See Colonel Goals." I think "Win" or whatever song it is. I'm gonna find the right song. But yeah, yeah, you guys, this this don't don't be uh, alarmed by this person. Like I said, this person contacts you. Uh, you don't have to forgive them. Uh, you don't have to interact with them or even respond, okay? Because I felt like if this person goes to you uh, because they feel like they couldn't give you what you wanted, they could have at least uh, spoken to you or actually disconnected with you on good terms. They could have just said it. But for some reason, this person felt like they couldn't really explain to you or tell you or they didn't have the uh, the guts, okay, or the strength to uh, tell you to your face. So they felt like the best thing for them to do was to ghost you. If they contact you again, like I said, you don't have to interact and respond. Just leave it how it is, okay? But don't feel bad. Don't beat yourself up. And if this, this is a person, a friend who wasn't giving you, uh, who wasn't uh, reciprocating energy within a connection or relationship, uh, yeah, you did whatever you had to do. You blocking them kind of justifies, uh, it kind of justifies their behavior. Uh, not really justify their behavior, but they, they feel like if they come at you, it'll be justified, okay? But it's not, and you guys should keep those type of immature people who feel like you they, you have to uh, keep them in your life, okay? Because you guys knew each other for a long time. If they're not adding to your life, add any type of value or uh, you guys' relationship isn't progressing or you guys aren't getting the reciprocal type of energy, you have every right to let that person go. You do not have to hold on to that person or keep them there so they won't look at you as being a messy person or they won't look at you as being mean. Um, Let them think that you are mean, a mean-ass person. You're a mean bitch, okay? Because immature people, if you guys' immaturity level, you guys' maturity level is not on the same level, it's okay to keep their ass away from you, okay? That's all I'm saying, so... If you guys got something from this, if you guys felt like it resonated, like it, okay, like, share, subscribe, comment, and also, you guys, whenever you hit the um, subscribe, hit the bell, okay, to get notified when I upload videos like this every Monday. Pick a card every Monday, 
plus uh, ins inspirational and encouragement, okay? Motivational and random ass messages throughout the week, okay? So stay tuned for that, you guys. All right, Paul 3. So yeah, once again, don't beat yourself up and, and just don't feel bad about this person watching you. Um, it's their guilt. Their guilt is kind of eating them up. So allow it and, and, and free yourself from this, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching, for vibing with me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.